Sorry, I keep forgetting about the recording thing because I'm an idiot, as I'm sure you've picked up. Anyhow, we're just going to hide over here. I'm going to regale you with uh, more rambling about the grunts and hiding and such. Uh, now, the first time I was hiding from this grunt, I heard the music playing, but I didn't take it as seriously as I ought. I was under the impression that music would keep playing until you manned up and uh, went out there to look out for yourself, or not to be sexist, womaned up. There are many women, including my sister, who could beat me up easily. You can lean, by the way. Press Q to lean left, E to re lean right. Anyhow, and I didn't uh, take the warning quite seriously enough. So I went out there to peek. And I was very, very lucky. In that, by the time I peeked, the grunt now was taking an inordinately huge amount of time to go away. By the time I peeked, it was gone. It was still there, rather. If it was gone, that wouldn't be much of a story. It was still there. It was right over here, walking away. I opened the door just as it turned away. It was terrified. I can, I'm sure you can tell how terrified I was. Anyhow, we've now avoided three out of four grunts. See this door that's open now? That's where a grunt was. Oh, I'm sorry, there is something in here. It's tinderbox. Yay! Tinderbox. Two tinderboxes. I gave you bad advice. No, there is definitely something in here. You shouldn't bother trying to get it until the grunts go away. Tinderboxes are our second best friend. But they're not as important as not being ganked by a grunt. Now over here, we start to get frightening again. See these stairs? Yeah. We're going to walk up the stairs backward. Or sideways. Because of that sound. That terrifying, awful sound. And we're going to run all the way back. Probably way further than we need to go. To go. In here. We're going to turn off this candle to avoid going insane. And we're going to hide. We're going to hide very much. We're going to hide behind barrels, we're going to hide behind boxes, we're going to hide behind that door. And we're going to listen to the music. Now, I'm probably much farther away from the grunt than I need to be. But it's worth it as far as I'm concerned. For one thing, I can be next to a candle and not lose more sanity. The anointed sovereign of sighs and groans is gone. Mainly groans. We're home free. Or at least back hall free. Another dream he thought and screamed at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Brings John Freeman to mind. So yeah, that's it for storage. We've just been through one of the most nerve wracking parts of the game. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. And in the next part, I'm going to cover the study and the guest room. Bye!